I had a big old cheeseburger right before this. <laughs> Got the fucking meat sweats right now. <laughs> uh. Speaking of meat sweats, anyone here eat at Arby's? One guy like politely applauds. Yeah, be ashamed of it too. How the fuck are they still in business? Like, Arby's is the only place where a free meal feels like a threat. <laughs> hey, you just want a free meal? Hell yeah, to Arby's. What did I do to you, Kyle? God, I just forgot everything I was gonna say. I feel like eating at Arby's should be a question that a doctor asks during a physical. It's like, all right, uh, do you smoke? Okay, excellent. Uh, do you drink? Okay, how many times a week? I don't know why, probably should cover that a little bit. And do you eat at Arby's? And if you say yes, depending on how old you are, they just give you a pamphlet for either a therapist or hospice care. <laughs> oh God, I just really wish I memorized any of this. <laughs> I don't know, like, Arby's is just, what was, what was the corporate meeting? They're like, all right, we're gonna start this new fast food chain. What should we do? I got an idea. What if we just uh, throw a bunch of fucking roast beef on some shit and let them eat it? <laughs> Johnson, you're a fucking genius. Corner office for that man. It just, it feels like something that your grandfather would have eaten. Just, Big Mac this, what for that? Back in my day, we just ate roast beef on a bun and called it good because we were afraid of communism. <laughs> All right, some of you guys didn't know your grandparents. That's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, one thing I always hear about Arby's though is like, yeah, like their food does look like hot diarrhea, but I love their curly fries. <laughs> That's like being, that's like going to a trap house because you love the lighting. <laughs> I know I shouldn't smoke crack, but they just got this new smart light that works with their Amazon Alexa. It works amazing. <laughs> that being said, I mean, if you, if you eat at Arby's, I'm, I'm not here to king shame. <laughs> But if you, there is one group of people we need to start shaming. Disney adults. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, good, you guys are gonna be with me. I've had some Disney adults in the audience who did not like this bit. Um, it, here's the problem with Disney adults. Every time it's like some person who's just like trying to convince you that Disney World is the most magical experience. They're like, oh my God, the castle's there, the fireworks, you can pay $45 for a bottle of water. <laughs> like, every time I go to Disney World, it's just a bunch of shitty Florida kids running around punching people in the shins, and their shitty parents are like, I can't control Jaden, he's got ADD. <laughs> And then the, your Disney adult friend is just running in front of you and they're like, oh my God, do you think Goofy's gonna be my friend? And I'm like, I think Jared's waiting for you to move the fuck on so he can go on a smoke break. <laughs> that being said, the only thing worse than Disney adults is Harry Potter adults. All right, some Harry Potter fans, it's gonna be tough. Uh, it's just like, I had a coworker who was like, I'm such a Ravenclaw. And it's like, no, you're 35 and an accountant. You've clearly let all your other dreams die. Let this one go too. <laughs> um, and before I go, I'll just, I'll leave you off with this. Um, I saw this mug recently on a targeted ad that said, I never got my Hogwarts letters, so I became a cop instead. 
Which, yeah, it's a, that's a weird way of just being like, I'm mad wizards don't exist, so I'm gonna shoot black people about it. <laughs> yeah, I would be, if I'm running from the cops, and the last thing I hear before I get shot 13 times in the back is, a bye, cadavra! I'm gonna be so upset, I'm just gonna be in hell lying about why I died. I've been Dylan Reese, thanks a lot, guys.